these are uh, melons cantaloupe that we started about 10 12 days ago you can actually see the peppers are just starting right here just pull them out and plant them nice eggplant parmesan it doesn't get much more farm to table than this I'm a fourth generation farmer here. I've been farming all my life. I'm 50 years old, so I was born and bred on a farm and I started with milking cows and went right into doing vegetables. At the Harvest Market in Swansea, Massachusetts, they're actually growing all of the produce themselves just out back. We plant everything, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, summer and zucchini squash, we do it all, sweet corn. We plant everything for the market and uh, that's what we provide all, all summer long for our Harvest Market. That's farmer Stephen Nunes. He's in charge of the land. He gets up about 3 a.m., goes to the corn fields, picks corn, and then his day starts from there. He doesn't get home till about 7 p.m. While his wife Tammy and daughter Megan manage the farm stand, but Harvest Market is more than just your ordinary side of the road vegetable stop. Harvest Market is a one stop shop. It's a farmer's market indoors. So we have a little restaurant, a cafe, a little deli, bakery, local products, and um, farm fresh vegetables from our farm. It's got that nice, rustic, farmy feel to it when you walk in. It feels like home. And the food served at the Harvest Market tastes homemade. There are juicy burgers topped with a farm fresh egg and classic comfort foods like turkey dinners, spaghetti and meatballs, country meatloaf, and piping hot chicken pies made to order. We actually slow roast our own whole chickens and then we pull the meat off it and we use that meat in our chicken pot pies. It's hot and steamy and it's got huge carrots and potatoes in it and it's like a thick, creamy, wholesome dinner. But for a true taste of what Harvest Market is all about, you've got to line up at their all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar. We try to use all fresh ingredients from the farm and it's small so we can keep it very fresh. From there, you got to try one of their signature stuffed quahogs using a family recipe made by Tammy's mom, Gail. She likes them cut a certain way. You don't do it her way. She says they're no good and <laughs> she makes you start over. She likes the onions chopped a certain way. It has to be spicy. It's not overly spicy, but she likes to put red crushed pepper in there and she uses local charisse and it's a passion. She enjoys doing it. One bite and you can tell why she's the quahog queen. You can taste the seafood, you can taste the charis, you can taste the spiciness. They have a nice crispy outside to them. They taste wonderful with hot sauce on them. They're unique but delicious. Other local favorites include the Portuguese ribeye sandwich topped with roasted red peppers and a fried egg, or that retro Fall River favorite, the chow mein sandwich. Served on Saturdays only, this sloppy spucky combines crispy chow mein noodles, sauteed vegetables, and hamburger for a tasty, textural burst in your mouth. Some people like it smushy and wet, and some people like it crunchy. Personally, I like it crispy. I like to taste the crispiness with the juice and the celery and the hamburger in it, but everybody likes it a little different. Since we're near the seacoast, the fish is always fresh, and the portions at Harvest Market are always plentiful. The combo platter is giant. Definitely good for two people. You got scallops, shrimp, clams, a whole fish and chip, over a bed of fries, coleslaw, tartar sauce, and then grandma stuffy. You can even get all of that fresh seafood served on top of a pizza called the Shoreman. The Shoreman's pizza is a seafood pizza and it has fresh shrimp and scallops and uh, bacon on it. It tastes like seafood, it tastes like the sea. <laughs> And because this is a working farm, this family is always up early, so they serve breakfast starting at 6 a.m. with options like the Hungry Start. Three eggs served the way you want them with chorizo, home fries, and pancakes. Or this sweet bread sandwich stuffed with two fried eggs and bacon. And for something even sweeter, there's always one of their over-the-top donuts, like this spin on a campfire favorite. The s'mores donut is just a mixture of marshmallow, chocolate, and graham crackers all into one delicious bite in between a donut. Other sweets good any time of the day include the decadent peanut butter brownie cupcake, this fun fruity pebble shake, or this enormous whoopie pie, which always catches customers by surprise. I usually their eyes widen a little bit when they buy the whoopie pie because they see the size of it. And whether you go for something healthy from the salad bar or something hearty from the kitchen, you can feel good knowing it was cultivated and cooked especially for you. It really is farm to table, and I do believe some people do appreciate that. I mean, to see the people come in every day and to enjoy what, what we did, it's, it's overwhelming, especially for me, I mean, because it's something that uh, 
It's something that I, I wanted to do all my life.